In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install Visual C Sharp 2010 Express Edition onto a machine that's running Windows 7. Now, my particular flavor of Windows 7 is the Pro Edition. However, the installation steps will be the same regardless of which uh, version of Windows 7 that you might be using. I'll also be using this very machine throughout the remainder of this video series. So, if Windows 7 is your operating system of choice, then you should feel right at home. Now, if you've already installed Visual C Sharp 2010 Express Edition, uh, then you can skip this video. I promise there will be nothing here that you'll miss. Uh, also, if you're already familiar with installing Windows applications, you can skip this video. Just make sure that when the option comes up to install the optional SQL Server 2008 Express Edition, make sure you install that because we'll be using that in the remainder of the videos in this series. Okay, so if you're still with me, then let's get started. Uh, I'm going to go over to Internet Explorer 8.0 and in my favorites I have a link to the uh, download location for the beta 2 version of the Express Editions. Now Microsoft is not going to distribute a release candidate for the Express Edition tools uh, but later this year when Visual Studio 2010 is officially released then I'll re-record any videos like this one that would be affected by uh, the, the change in location or any UI changes. Uh, I've been assured by my friends in Microsoft that the Beta 2 that we're about to work with uh, and the final the final release will be nearly identical as far as the Express Editions are concerned, so we should be good to go. Okay, so if you take a moment to to uh, navigate to www.microsoft.com slash express slash express dash 2010, uh, and you can pause the, re the video to make sure you get that location. Uh, scroll down about halfway down that page and click the Microsoft C Sharp 2010 Express link and this will take us to the download page again about halfway down that list we will select the purple free download button and save it to our downloads folder on Windows 7 and once that's finished I'm gonna close everything down and pop open Windows Explorer and go to the downloads directory and I'll double click on the VCS underscore web.exe file uh, when you get the user account control uh, question, say, of course I trust Microsoft. So we'll select yes. After a moment or two, we'll see the usual installation screens for an application. And after clicking next and agreeing to the license terms, then we want to make sure to install the optional Microsoft SQL Server 2008 Express Edition Service Pack 1. Again, we'll be using that later on. And... Uh, a few things to note on this particular screen. First of all, since this is a beta, I like to leave everything where it wants to be. Not that I know of any issues regarding uh, the installer for Visual C Sharp 2010 Express, but because I'm superstitious and perhaps that's through experience. Um, also, be forewarned that what you downloaded a few moments ago was just kind of a bootstrap. What it'll go out and do now is download all of the bits that you need based on the selections that you made. So the complete download is like 238 megs and that's a very long download. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click install then I'll pause the recording but we'll come back to this in just a moment about halfway through uh, we'll be prompted to restart our computer and we'll talk about that in just a moment so pausing. Okay, so about midway into the install, as promised, we're prompted to reboot, and this is because the uh, .NET Framework Runtime 4.0 Beta 2 needs to be installed. Uh, and so this is the piece of software that's foundational. Uh, everything that we'll write as an application will build off of this, this, uh, this runtime, and we'll discuss this more later on in the video series. For right now, we're going to go ahead and click the restart now. And as our machine reboots, it'll look an awful lot like it's doing a Windows update. Thank you. 
And I think it needed a reboot because uh, the .NET runtime touches so many parts of the operating system and because uh, Visual C Sharp 2010 Express Edition is built on that framework itself. So uh, it needed to have that in place before it could be installed. Okay, so we're about halfway through the install at this point. Okay, so it looks like we have a successful install. If you didn't see this screen, uh, if you encountered some sort of error message in a separate video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to submit a bug, uh, a bug report to Microsoft. Uh, also, how to find solutions to your problems, to your installation problems. Microsoft wants to hear about any installation issues that you may have had, so it's important that you contribute in that way, especially with the beta. Okay, so that should complete the installation just to be sure let's go to our start menu on Windows and click the new icon Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 Express so the first time it runs it needs to set up a few things with regards to the environment that it's running in um, screen resolution keyboard settings things of that nature okay so uh, looks like uh, this is our stopping point uh, this interface will become uh, ingrained within your mind over the course of the next 14 days or 28 days or 42 days or whatever it is that we wind up creating for this series. Uh, but this is a great start. Okay, so we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.